you, Your Honor. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going to go on a little bit and then I'm going to kind of come back a little bit. Uh, I was showing you the, your foot, that was the pictures of your foot uh, taken at the hospital. Is that the gun shot one that you received? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, did the, I guess you would call the bullet, did it go through your foot? No, sir. Okay, I'm going to show you what's been admitted as State's Exhibit 267. Is this the top of your right foot? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, Ms. Settles, did, did you shoot yourself in the foot? No, sir. I should say, did you, did you shoot yourself in the bottom of your foot? No, sir. Okay. Now, going back a little bit, I just... I forgot a few things and got ahead of myself. Uh, at some point, you uh, you gave an interview with uh, the district attorney's office. Uh, your attorney was present, uh, and you gave a statement. Is that right? Yes, sir. Okay. And that was back on August 8th of 2016. This was about a month ago, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. And at that time, uh, you were asked uh, in a photograph of the Durango, the inside of the Durango, for you to mark down where you said the gun was at. Is that right? Yes, sir. Okay. Show you what's been marked as State's Exhibit 283. And let me just... Does that indicate at that point, is that your handwriting? Yes, sir. Okay. And that right there on the side is your initials dating the date. Yes, sir. Okay. What does that indicate? I mean, what was that to, to indicate? That was to indicate where the gun was. Okay. Now, when Officer Benner is coming around the vehicle, um, what, was, what was Andrew doing with the gun? The gun, as he was approaching the front of the vehicle, well, he was going around the front of the vehicle to towards passenger side. He, um, Andrew had got the gun and he put it right there next to, um, the middle console, between him and the middle console. Okay. Did he have his hand on it? Yes, he did. Okay. Um, was he doing anything to the gun? Um. I don't recall. Okay. But you know that he was handling the gun? Yes. Now, and during your time with Andrew, during this time period, March to May 25th, did you and Andrew have any kind of conversations regarding whether uh, <coughs> if caught or... Jackson, here, say, no reproach. Okay. Did you and Andrew have any type of communications or talking about what would happen if he was pulled over or arrested by a police officer? No, that's the question.
Little even answer that question. Ms. Littles, in your conversations during March while you were with Andrew Romero, did you discuss, uh, did Andrew ever tell you what would happen or what would he would do if he uh, were arrested or stopped by police? Yes, sir. What did he say? Andrew, Andrew always said that he was never going to go back to prison and it was either going to be him or the cops. And on how many occasions did he say that? Quite a few. Did he say that? Uh, was he coherent? Was he in his right mind, as they said? Yes, sir, he was. <coughs> now, Slittles, you, you, going back to, to the scene, I'm going to show you what uh, has been admitted as State's Exhibit 282. Sorry, I got a throat loss and they're stuck. <laughs> um, going back to that interview that you had with the district attorney's office where your attorney was present, you did another diagram and it kind of showed, you depicted on where uh, using Officer Benner's vehicle that was there at the scene, you drew out some um, with letters, etc. Do you recall that? Yes, sir. Okay. I want to kind of zoom in and see if I can zoom that in a little bit better. Can you uh, step down? If, if may the witness step down, step down. Step around. Yeah, come up over here. Okay. This little. Can you tell the ladies and gentlemen of the jury what these symbols mean uh, in your diagram? Uh, the B. The B, the B is for Officer Benner. And you were trying to say that what? That that's where Officer Benner was approached the vehicle. Yes. Okay. Is is this the vehicle right that you used right there? Yes. As the symbol. Yes. Okay. Approximately. What is this right here? This one? Yes. That was me right there. Okay. And the X? The X is where Officer Benner's body was at. Okay. And the C? The C was where I had went to, after I stood up, that's where I went to go sit. Okay. Thank you. Take, it, take your seat back. Thank you, Ms. Littles. <coughs> now, Ms. Uh, Littles, how many, <coughs> how many shots did you hear? I heard four shots. And of those four shots, one of them hit you on the bottom of the foot. Yes, sir. <clears throat> now, after Officer Benner came to you, he indicated, what's his name? Is that right? <clears throat> um, before Officer Benner fell to the ground, he, he said, what's his name? Okay. He falls to the ground, correct? Now, what did, uh, uh, Andrew was the only person in the vehicle, correct? Objection, hearsay, ask, ask and answer. I'm on the to see that. Okay. Uh, was there anybody else, uh, anybody else other than Andrew? There was nobody else in the vehicle besides me and Andrew. Now, um, what happened after the officer fell? What happened to the vehicle? It, it took off. Okay. It took off. Uh, 
Now, what did you do? I started walking towards the people and I said that and that I was shot. And one of the people that was out there, they, they said just for me to sit down. Okay. So somebody there in the, in the uh, people that were around Officer Benner asked you to sit down. One of the people that were stand, that were in the that were right there at the scene, yes. Okay. And where'd you sit at? I sat there on the curb. Okay. show you what's uh, been admitted as State's Exhibit 67. 67. 67. <clears throat> Appears to be, let me just, oops, let me just move it up. Can you tell what, what this item is right here? No. Okay. At any time, did you take off anything? No, the paramedic pulled my shoe off and my sock off. Okay. And were you sitting at this corner? Right there? Yes, sir. Okay. sat there on the, on the corner. Now, did you ask anybody to retrieve anything from you, for you? Yes, I asked one of the guys that were standing around if he could go and grab my purse and my phone. Okay. And he did, and he brought it back to me. Okay. While oh, you were at the curb? Yes, sir. Now, oh, here it is. Okay. Let me show you what's been marked as today's exhibit 68. Does that appear to be your... My sock, yes. That's your sock? Yes. Okay. Now, this little... Um, you know Andrew has a gun. You know it's loaded. You know what he said. Officer Benner's approaching you after you're thrown out. Why didn't you tell him anything? It all happened so fast. Okay. And I honestly I honestly didn't think that that, that he was going to shoot anybody. Okay. So when he told you before, it was <coughs> you took it as that he was just talking, you know? But now, you saw Officer Benner fall. You were standing around. Why didn't you try to render aid to Officer Benner? So I was scared. What were you scared of? I've never seen nothing like I never seen nothing like that happen. I was just scared. I was freaking out. I was. Okay. Now. You indicated that Andrew had uh, had thrown some material out, <coughs> some stuff out of the vehicle, and uh, let's see if I can rearrange this. Pictures all over. <coughs> let 
Let me show you what's been marked as, uh, or admitted as dates, Exhibit 41. Do you recognize that? Yes, that's a key from 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 my motel. Okay. <clears throat> what about this? That's another cue from my motel. I guess a different angle of that. The key. Same key. Yeah. Okay. And that's from the quality. I mean Qual the uh, the quality in. Quality in. Yes, sir. <laughs> Had that been in your vehicle? Yes, sir. This is uh, State's Exhibit 43. Do you recognize that? Is that the... Cheeto bag? I don't recall if if I took the Cheeto bag with me in the car because when I was in the gas station, I opened the Cheetos and poured them into the paper plate things for the nachos and poured the cheese on it. So I don't recall if that came out of my bag, I mean out of the car. As to why uh, you uh, didn't warn uh, Officer Benner at any point, uh, did you tell law enforcement that uh, uh, that you had been protecting Andrew? Yes, I did. Okay. Were you protecting Andrew? I was protecting myself and Andrew. Now, did you make a phone call to your mom from the... Or did, what was wrong, I mean, he retrieved your phone and your purse, correct? Yep. Young man got it and gave it to you. Yes, sir. Okay. And uh, did you, what was, was the phone operative? Was it able to be used? Yes, my screen was just shattered, but you could still use it. Okay, did you attempt to try to call anybody? Yes, I made two phone calls. Okay, who did you call? I called my mom and I asked her, I told her I was sorry. I don't know if I could just go home, and she's like, yeah. Okay. And then, in the ambulance, I called my friend, Rebecca, to let her know that there wasn't no way that I'd be able to pick her up from work. Okay. All right. Now, other item. States Exhibit 182 found at the scene. Do you recognize that? Yes. What is it? My, my prescription. Okay. And that had been in the vehicle? Yes. Now, Ms. Littles, um, did you speak to somebody at, at the, well, yeah, at the scene? Did, some, did an officer or somebody approach you? Yes. Okay. And what, when they approached you, what did they ask you? What happened? Okay. And what did you tell them? I made up a story. And what did you tell them? I told them that I've been carjacked and, um, <coughs> and that there was more than, um, Me and Andrew in the car. Okay. Now, you said, was that the truth? No, it wasn't. Okay. Um, why did you tell the officer that? Because I was trying to protect Andrew. Okay. Were you... And I was scared, and I just... I didn't know what to do. I was just scared. Okay. Uh, at any point, were you trying to protect yourself? Yes. I was trying to protect myself and Andrew. Okay. And again... We just saw Andrew uh, shoot a police officer and take off in the vehicle. Why would you want to protect him? Because I cared about him and I thought he cared about me. Okay, 
at uh, so at the scene, did they try to render aid to you? Did they try to see? Did somebody come to you and try to render aid to your foot? Um, eventually, yes. Okay. Now I'm just a little. Did, were you trying to get people's attention that you had gotten shot? Yes. Um, was that in any way trying to not have people come to Officer Benner's assistance? No. Now, what, what type of aid, uh, medical aid, did you render at the scene? Um, the paramedic, or the, I don't know if it was paramedic or the fireman, but um, he came up and he, um, I took my shoe off and I took the sock off and looked at it and didn't do nothing and then I got in the ambulance and nobody really did nothing. Nobody really helped my foot until I got to the emergency room and not even then it took a while, you know? Okay. Now, what was everybody else doing at the scene? Trying to help Officer Benner. Were there other people standing around? <coughs> yes, sir. Not rendering aid to Officer Benner? Correct. Now, on the way to the hospital, uh, what hospital did you get transported to? A UNM. Okay. UNMH, they call it? Yes, uh, sir. UNM Hospital? They're on Lomas and uh, University? Yes, sir. Okay. And on the way, uh, did you speak to the people, the, I guess, EMTs or the people that were in the ambulance? Yes, sir. Okay. Did you tell them what, what had happened? I told them uh, a bullshit story. Okay. And what was, was, was it any different from, the, from the, what you had told at the scene? No. Now, before I get to, when you get to the hospital, you indicated uh, at some point uh, what Andrew was wearing that day. What was Andrew wearing? Blue jean shorts. What kind of top? I don't remember. Do you recall? I'll come back to that. Recall telling the officers that it was a wife beater type. A muscle shirt. Muscle shirt. Yeah. Was that what he was wearing? You have to say yes, Ms. Yes, sir. And you indicated what type of shoes he was wearing. What type of shoes was he wearing? Some Jordans. What color? I mean, I don't know. White. They were white Jordans. Okay. Did they have any type of stripe, color? I don't know much about. I don't much. recall. Just. When you got to the hospital, uh, what happened? <coughs> Where did you go in the hospital? And they took me to the emergency. Uh, they took me to the emergency room. Um, and they took my clothes um, and put me in a hospital gown. Um, they kept me on a bed. And I sat there for a while.
looking at States Exhibit 306. So the picture taken earlier that afternoon at the Taco Bell. Are these the tennis shoes that you're talking about? Yes, sir. And the blue cut-off jeans? Yes, sir. Now, when you got to the police, I mean, to the hospital, did a police officer come and talk to you initially first? Other than Detective Parks of the Rio Rancho, was there another officer prior to Detective Parks coming and asking you questions? I don't recall. Did you uh, recall uh, speaking to Officer Pope uh, and, and he asked you at the time of the, uh, at the hospital, what happened? <coughs> You saw a transcript, do you think it would refresh your recollection? I'm not sure. It was at a time right before you were going to go into x ray. <coughs> Remember? I don't, I'm not sure. Can I put Does that refresh your recollection? Does that refresh your recollection? Yes, sir. Okay. <coughs> what did you tell Officer Pope? I told the Officer Pope that I came to Rancho to drop off one of my friends okay. that lived there. And what did you tell him about uh, how everything transpired while you were in Rancho? I told him that I was in the car that was pulled over. And I pulled over and asked them if they needed help, and uh, they jacked me. Okay. Uh -huh. Now, do you recall at that point telling, while you're talking to Officer Pope and telling that story, do you recall that uh, you telling the police officer, um, that the officer had told you that you had been um, <coughs> that you had been on parole, that you were out of the jurisdiction. Yes. Okay. And also that uh, the individual that allegedly carjacked you had used the name Albert. <coughs> you want you want to refresh your recollection? No. You remember telling him that? Yes. And that you had said, the guy already told you that Albert had responded, the guy had already told you, fucking pussy, my name's Albert, you know. Remember telling the police officer that at the hospital? Yes. yes. And that the police officer came around and tried to open the passenger door. Yes, sir. You 
you indicated at that point that the person, the guy, indicated to you that he was going to kill you. Was that true? No. You gave the officer your name, correct? Yes, sir. Your date of birth? Yes, sir. said bullshit of the one that you told Officer Pope. Would you like to read the transcript? Okay. Yes, I have, let me have the transcript, please. Can I refer you to page, let me just, page three. Line uh, starting around thirteen. All of it's bullshit. Okay. <coughs> and when you say it's bullshit. What did I tell him with this one here? Yeah. I told him that, um, I told him that I pulled over because, um, this car was pulled on the side of the road and they asked if they could use my phone. And I said, yeah, and then I said they got in and, um, and told me to, that, to drive, to have me drive. Um. <coughs> was it bullshit, Miss, uh, Littles, that the officer pulled you over? No, sir. And that you gave him a driver's license? No, sir. Okay. And, um, and that the officer took your driver's license and gave him a paper with my VIN number? No, sir. Uh, Officer, that you heard four shots? Yes, sir. And that you tell the officer at that time that you had been thrown out of the vehicle? Yes, sir. Now, Ms. Littles, did you tell the officer how you felt about what had occurred? How you felt at the time? Feel bad? Yes. I don't know if that's quite a bit if we want to take the lunch break. Yes, we'll be slow. Why don't we take our lunch break and be back at 1.15? All right.